I felt as and welcome. This is my strawberry snail. Uh, she's super easy to make and she's perfect for the summer months. Let's get started. The walls I'm using are all carded. I have a beige, a green and a red. The brown I didn't use in the end and I also used a bit of black. I've got two tiny eyes, about three, four mil, and then I use two pipe cleaners. So the pipe cleaners, just to make your life a bit easier, fold your pipe cleaner in half and twist it so it's about six inches in length. And this is how it's going to sort of end up inside. I just find it a lot easier to wrap around a pipe cleaner when you're doing um, sort of a tubey type shape. So take your wool and just start wrapping it around, keep it nice and tight. And I use a 36 triangular needle because there's a strong chance you could be hitting the wire. Um, and we're just going to build it up and build it up. So this whole process took me a, a while, probably about half an hour to an hour. And it's going to be thicker where the head is. So we're just at the head end just build, wrap up around that immediate area and round off the top and then just keep building up. So you're going to have a larger area underneath the body where the strawberry is and it's going to go slimmer down towards the tail end. So I like to just put the wool on fairly loosely, secure it and then go over it and make it firm. So it was about five inches by three and then it was about two and a half down, I think. Um, and I needed to build it up a little bit more and build up the chest area as well. So that uh, it just looks better if there's a little bit of a chest area. And the multi-needle tool can come out at this stage because you're a lot further away from the wire. And then just flattening off the bottom as best you can at this stage. You see how I've just flattened that bit down. And then I took a 38 triangular, nothing special. And I've gone all the way over and this takes another good 20, 25 minutes and it just gives you a lovely smooth surface. Um, so I've got lots of videos on how to get a smooth finish so I'll link those at the end. And then with the head you're just going to round it off at the top area. And it's nice if the neck is a little bit thinner. You can play around with how you want your um, snail to look. So there we are all done, nice flat base. Check that it's nice and flat, push it down, give it a squidge. Um, any big bumps, try and smooth them out. So these are the eyes. I've just popped them in where they should be and now I'm going to glue them in. So I took a needle, got the hole. So my camera goes in and out here. I used my owl to make it a little bit bigger. Tiny bit of glue on the ends and then just push them in and that's all they need. And then we're going to do the mouth. So this is where we use the black. Um, roll it, get a small amount, roll it between your fingers, twizzle it or twist it and then put it in position and I sort of try and do the middle bit then I do one end. I find I have to turn <laughs> him upside down to get the archway or it's just easier for me to do on that side. Um, the mouth it felt a bit big but actually it was all right in the end once I felted it all down and in. I do definitely use a 38 for this for the final work and there's the mouth all done now we're going to do the antennae so i've done one it's a two inch bit of pipe cleaner you do need the pipe cleaner here and a very thin piece of the beige wool uh, thin it out before you use it and i did the first bit i secured it on with a tiny bit of felting and then carried on wrapping i had too much which is always you know, it's fine, you can just pull it off and then secure the rest of it and you're rolling and felting very gently. And I'm normally at 45 degree angle there. Now here I am trying to do the antennae, the little bit at the end. Um, I just took some wool, made sure it was very thin and wrapped it around the top area. And I'm securing it as I go because it's very tricky. It's very sort of small here. And you round the end off and then this really helps by needle felting down into the base to sort of create the ball area. We'll go a little bit closer. Um, and so I'm creating a definition there so that it shows that it's a ball sort of, um, you can see there. So it really helps to do the downward movement. You could get little beads or something and pop them on the top. You can definitely play around and try and get them to look as similar as possible. 
and then we're going to put them into the head there and this owl really all sorry really helps or you can just use scissors um make a big hole check that they fit first before you go adding any glue because it can get very messy because and here it's a little bit the glue sort of sticks everywhere and I sort of wrap it around and I only used a tiny tiny bit on the very very base and then pop it in and that's all you need and they stay in really well and you can bend them to whatever shape you want do the other one I did push the all all the way in actually to get the hole nice and big there you can see and then pop them in and they are done oh, that's lovely already good character there we go so the strawberry shape I took a large you could use core on the inside but I have loads of red at the moment but I took a large clump and I'm thinking cone shape as I'm doing this one so all you want it to be is cone shaped and then you're going to sort of bring the top of it down a bit so here we are and underneath at the bottom there just checking for size it's a bit too small so I've got to add a lot more and again see how I'm wrapping it around and creating that cone shape and then flatten the bottom a bit and you want the edges to sort of bulge around so just smooth them round you don't need um, square edges multi needle tool again just helps speed everything up mind your fingers and then I always do so this was three um, inches down and about two and a half across and I always do things sort of a third bigger than I want them to be because once you go round um, and smooth it all out it's going to be a lot smaller so let's smooth this all out So there we go all done and two and a half inches I think was uh, what it ended up being height wise and just have a look and see if it looks all okay and then um, I did flatten a bit it a bit either way so that it was a bit sort of longer and then I attached it all through the base of the snail going downwards I found this is the easiest without leaving a mark so I've started the dots we prep them all I used the beige wool in the end I was thinking of brown then I actually looked them up and most people do them in yellow but chatted to my daughter and the beige goes really well because that's the color of the snail and it works brilliantly so just choose your color carefully so you take tiny amounts of the beige roll it up in between your fingers and then put them on, all on your mat and then start felting them on and space them sort of uh, in the gaps of the one below and then work your way all the way around it took a while it it wasn't as bad as I thought try and do them a bit longer if you can it's not essential and then do go around with the scissors do not spend ages getting all the tiny bits just get the scissors um, and trim off the excess bits so we'll just pop round and finish this So as you can see the colour works really well so I was really really happy but you can you know have a look and, and try and do different colours if you want to. So now we're going to do the little green hat and um, I've done two of these triangles already I'll just show you how I did them. So take some of your green wool put it out on the mat um, a fairly even layer of it and then take your needle I'm just using a 38 triangular and mark out a triangle felting it into your mat so do the outline and then felt a little bit of the middle and then simply fold over it gives you a lovely um, easy edge 
and just take out bits. I'm always taking out bits from wool. It's quite normal. Um, and towards the end, the point, just sort of gently fold each side in as you go and you will get enough of a point. Um, you don't need it to be really even the point it's fine it will sort of form up as you do it and then fold the top i just needed to make the edge a bit better there and fold the top in and the top end you don't have to make um, all um, perfect we will just do the sides in a minute so peel it off your mat turn it over felt the other side so felt both sides so it's fairly thin you could iron this or you could use hair straighteners i didn't think i needed to but it's nice to neaten up the edges. So two bits of card, coaster, anything that's not going to hurt your fingers um, really helps. You can do this just between your fingers if you're brave enough. And just felt it down 38 to triangular needle again. And I just sort of drag it along and felt it all down. And it gives me a nice smooth finish. It takes about 30 seconds to a minute. Be careful with the tip. Don't do too much with the tip do that afterwards you get a slight little line there but we're going to felt that down so that will disappear um, choose which side you're going to have as the top side which one looks the neatest so I just had a look there I decided that side was probably better and if you just felt downwards at the edges you take out that line and it gives you a nice little triangular bit like I said don't worry about that end bit and we're going to fold them over and then bend them up a little bit so once you've done, I did five but needed six in the end, uh, fold them in half and then felt about half a centimetre from the very end and work out how they're going to go around the antennae. So I did two at the front, felt those two together as best you can. It's a little bit tricky, mind your fingers. You, you want to keep the folded shape of the leaf. You don't want to lose that. So felt those two together then test out the next one that's going to go around the antennae and at what angle you need to sort of keep it felted at then attach that one and I did the other side and then I only had one left so I realized I needed to do one more so I quickly made another one and pop that in the gap so you can see they felted in quite well it's not too bad and then we're going to just check that they fit and then we're going to do the little stem that's going to go on the top and it will cover up any of those joins so it works really well doing it like this so that's all felted in check it all works and i sort of bent it down and over a little bit so it looked a bit more like a hat so we'll do the stem so take some of the green wool i sort of fold the end over and then roll and roll spread it out and you end up with a nice thin little stem it doesn't have to be a really long one it's literally only an inch but leave the bottom third fluffy because you're going to really fan that fluffiness out um, and put it and attach it to the um, base so flatten off the top by felting straight down and then it's just roll and felt roll and felt until it forms up it takes about three or four minutes and all of this I've left loose. Doesn't look like much, but it actually does the job really, really well. And I give it a little curve as well. Work out how you're going to have it. And then I just felted all down between the stems. I went all around the base and then go down between the stems very gently. And then you can lightly felt uh, any other fluffy bits. And it attached really well and um, it yeah did the job of covering up any of the other joins. So work out where your front is, which is there. And then I'm going to attach. I wasn't sure how well this would attach, but it wasn't too bad. So again, I felt it between the joins and then right through the base of the stem. And that way you're not leaving marks um, in your leaves. So you're sort of felting through the areas where it is. And to finish, we did two little rosy cheeks. I thought they it just finished her off a little bit more. So this is Sandra. I think I think the name's Sandra. But she's all done with her little smiley cheeks. Strawberries are great fun to play around with. I think I might be doing some more strawberry animals. But I hope you've enjoyed this um, tutorial. 
and I'm going to put a couple of my videos up here. Do subscribe if you're not subscribed, but thanks very much, and I hope you are well. Take care, everybody. Bye.